Good morning YouTube, this is Cruise Man, just about to head back home from our breakfast. There goes Don on his 2018 Goldwing, and uh, just about to head back home myself. Just thought today would be a perfect day for a little motovlog. It's a nice morning. It's going to be another hot one today, I'm afraid. I think uh, we got up to about 104 yesterday and I think it's going to get up around 101 today so it's still going to be pretty darn hot so as I've said before I do my riding in the mornings when it's still sort of cool it's about 90 right now already at uh, what is it about 8.30 in the morning 8.25 something like that Still pretty warm. I just thought today I'd go through my uh, mailbag and let you know what some people have been uh, sending me some emails and uh, posting messages on my Facebook groups. The first one uh, comes from Doug. I'm not going to use last names because I didn't ask for permission. But he did post this, I think, on my Facebook group. And I'll put the links, uh, the URLs to our Facebook groups on the screen. Uh, one group is for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing and F6B. And the other group is specifically for the 2018 Plus Honda Goldwing, the 6th generation Goldwing. So make sure you check those out. It doesn't cost anything to join. And uh, you're welcome to participate if you have any maintenance questions or you want to help other people out with their problems. But Doug posted a photo of his lens cover on his dash. And uh, it appears to have been really damaged. And apparently what happened is he had installed one of these screen protectors. You know, these little thin uh, plastic sheets that you put over your lens to keep it from scratching. Well, I guess he started noticing some bubbles or something underneath that screen protector. And he removed it, and when he did, he could see that his dash or his lens was completely fogged up and almost like it was etched. He tried to polish it out. He couldn't get it to polish out. It was just almost like permanently damaged. And of course, uh, to replace that lens, is I don't know I think they're about a maybe close to two hundred dollars just to buy the lens and on top of that you've got to take the whole front end of the bike apart to get to it now I've got a video on my uh, 2018 plus Goldwing maintenance video series that shows how to remove that lens and clean it now I had to do that with mine because I had some fogging on the inside of the lens and I had to remove mine to uh, clean that off. And I'm telling you, it's a pretty good, a pretty, uh, pretty hefty chore to get to it because you got to not just remove the top shelter, you got to remove the speaker grills. Uh, you've got to remove all of this mechanism up here, all of the uh, meter visor panels and the windshield. Everything's got to come off. It's kind of like the air filter. They built the bike around that clear lens. So, a warning to those of you, I don't know if it's because of the way that lens protector was installed, or if that's just a characteristic. If any of you have put one of those screen protectors on your motorcycle and experienced a similar problem, uh, put it in the comments down below. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are about that, because that's the first time I'd heard of that. Uh, I think he said he tried to polish it out and he couldn't polish it out. You can polish this lens. You have to be very careful when you do it because it's a very soft material. The lens is. Uh, I've used the Aerolon Show Polish on mine and it works very well. But I've never used a electric polisher or any kind of a mechanical polisher. I've always just done it by hand. Um, 
you would have to be very careful if you're using a mechanical polisher. I'm, I say mechanical, I mean a, like an electric polisher. Uh, because if you hold that polisher in one spot for very long, you could easily, uh, it'd be, it would get hot and you melt the plastic. You basically ruin, the, you, you'd ruin that lens doing that. No different than paint, painted surfaces the same way. So if you've had a problem with those screen protectors, I'd like to know about it. And for the rest of you, just be careful uh, if you're thinking about putting one of those screen protectors on. Uh, just be aware. I got another email from Stephen who had sent me a picture of how he had figured out how to get a couple of helmets in his trunk. Well, he sent me another email yesterday or day before where he went out uh, to start his gold wing and he couldn't get it to start. It wouldn't start. And so he... And I'm paraphrasing, I don't know the exact details of what he did, but I know he unhooked the battery, took the seat off, unhooked the battery, unplugged uh, maybe the relays and some of the other plugs under the seat, let the bike sit for 30 minutes, and then uh, he went back out and hooked everything back up and it started up. So he figured he had solved the problem. Well, then he goes out the next day and the bike won't start again. So then he attacks it from the standpoint of the uh, starter switch up here, which is also your, um, well, I call it a kill switch. That's not a good thing to call it, but basically the starter switch. So he basically takes apart the hand control, and he, I think he said he thought he found some moisture inside the switch. So he dried it off, put it all back together, and the bike started up, and you figure he solved that problem. But then, uh, once again, he had where it wouldn't start again. So he's having some issues, and he thinks it centers around this starter switch, like a short of some kind. If any of you have had a problem similar to this, where you've had a short, or you've had a problem with your starter switch, or you've gone out and your bike won't start for whatever reason, Put that in the comments down below. We're going to start a little thread on this and see if uh, anybody else has had this issue. And uh, if you've had it and you had it resolved through your dealer or whatever, uh, it would really help Stephen out. And uh, I'd be curious to know myself. So if anybody else has that issue, they can, they'll know how to solve it. Now by the time you see this motor vlog, I should have my video out that I did on the 2016 Goldwing. I was doing a light kit, it's an LED, a rear end LED upgrade kit for the 2001 to 2017 Goldwing. And it may not actually be posted to YouTube for another day or two, but it'll be out there pretty soon. So for those of you that have the fifth generation Goldwing, uh, you will soon have a new video showing how to install these rear-end LEDs on your bike. And I'm telling you, they are amazing. They are super bright. And what's real, they're from Pathfinder LED, I should mention that. And what's really amazing about them is that they have the brake light modulators built into the bulb or into the LED, so you don't have to add an external modulator. So you basically swap your bulbs out with these LEDs, and you not only do you have super bright LEDs, but you also have some modulation, so it flashes four times. Every time you put on the brakes, the, your lights flash four times. And then it, um, you know, then it goes solid red. So it's really a great uh, kit if you've got a 2001 to 2017 Goldwing. So you'll definitely want to check out that video. Uh, I'll remind you once again, our promotion on my Goldwing maintenance videos is ending in just a couple of days. So if you're planning on getting those videos, you could uh, check out just go to our Facebook group, go to one of the Facebook groups, or go to my website, and you can find out all that information, but that, that offer is going to end here pretty quick, so I'll just let you know that. 
and I'm gonna head to the grocery store. I realized almost before I got home, I need to go back to the grocery store. So I'm gonna do that and I'll have a lot more to tell you, some exciting things this next week. So thanks for joining me today. And I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. You guys ride safe out there. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.